Stephen Brown and this time I'm in Cape Coral and I'm going to talk about Ganoderma. It's a palm fungal disease that is terminal to palms that it affects. There is always a great telltale sign. How do we know a palm has Ganoderma? Real simple. Take a look right here. You see these mushrooms? They're called conches growing out of the bottom part of the trunk. That is the sign of Ganoderma. When it happens, this queen palm is basically is a goner. It's not going to survive for too many more months and it's on a rapid decline. This is the final expression of the disease. This is the outgrowth, the fruiting body of the conch, the mushroom, and this is the sign that this palm has been infected and it's on its way out. It's going to be mulch pretty soon, if not compost. I just spotted something, an areca palm that seems like it's in distress. So let's take a quick walk and a quick examination. Okay, take a look here. What do I notice first? The bare stump or the bare mass, so to speak. Lots of missing canes, all dried up. And here is the telltale sign, the Ganoderma fungus. There it is. Break it off, you can see it right there colorful but deadly and if we go around let's come around here and we'll see more conches right here there you go here's another one here's another one right here so this is what has killed this and has left this with many dead canes so this mass this areca palm should have been filled overflowed with lots of nice healthy cane only only three surviving canes from what should be a nice landscape feature ganoderma landscape disaster for many palms areca is susceptible what to do take it out because it's not going to survive it's going to gradually be pulled downhill until it uh, dies <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else can I say? I'm back in Cape Coral and take a look at this areca palm. It has Ganoderma, we call it sometimes Ganoderma butt rot. And you can see the reason why. The butt or the bottom of the palm is decaying. The butt is definitely dying. Ganoderma butt rot. And you can see the telltale sign. The conch is right here so that indicates Ganoderma. The Ganoderma fungus is what's responsible for killing this areca palm. But let me show you something. Butt rot, right? See that? It's all gone. Easy. Let's take a look at the entire length here. No canopy, no leaves. So what happened here? It kills the bottom first, the top got affected, and we have no canopy here. Very typical of the areca palm. Let's go up and take a look and you'll see. So take a look up top, you can see no canopy, no fronds. This is really the telltale symptom of Ganoderma butt rot, no canopy and areca. That's a telltale symptom of Ganoderma butt rot and areca. They just, just, it's just falling apart. And we don't want this to happen, do we? Now I'm in Sanibel. And what I have here is our cabbage palm. This is a native palm, but don't let that fool you because even the native palm can get this. Here it is again, Ganoderma. So here we have three conches at the very bottom, about eight inches from the soil line, and always at the bottom, that's where we notice them. They're beautiful, but they're deadly. So it chokes the bottom and kills the top. The whole thing dies. So we don't want this and what is the recommendation? Simply don't replant in a location where you've taken out a Ganoderma infected palm. That goes for all of them. Call the extension service. We will have recommendations. That's our Ganoderma lesson for today. Until next time, there's always something new to learn in the landscape.